Jailer Rock, percent off collector, and this is what's in my box this week. Uh, this is actually, I guess you could call it a crossover with my Thursday things that I bought at garage sales because this is a combination of both things. Basically what happened is I went to a garage sale and I was looking around for some toys and there wasn't any, at least not, that was available. The lady there said that, you know, she had a bunch of box figures, but someone came first thing in the morning, she said, it's so funny. She said she thinks that he was like camping out like in his car, like at seven o'clock and the thrift store didn't start. I mean, the, the garage sale didn't open until nine. And she was like, she thought it was weird. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a super reseller. So then I'm like, oh, okay, well, thanks so much. And then we started talking and that's why like, you won't see me do like videos when I'm at these events because I've just seen that for a lot of people it turns people off plus you're focused on filming so you don't want to get in these long conversations I know I could edit it but I like talking to these people and I talked to her for a while and then you know I was about ready to go I was like you know hey good talk thanks whatever and then she came out with this box and she's like here you can have this uh, for five dollars and I'm like for real and then I went in my pocket and I started counting out because I had singles when I got to three dollars she's like no you know what three is fine I couldn't believe it like I didn't even really look inside it didn't really matter I saw some figures in there and I was like I don't care if they're scratched up three dollars that's cool this is just stuff that I can take pictures of have fun with so we're gonna quickly go through these and take a look at what I got. So first up, I was able to identify this Buzz Lightyear. This, um, I think, I wasn't able to get the year because there was a couple of Buzz Lightyear Space Wings. Um, did it say on the bottom? No, it didn't. I was pretty sure I checked, but there were a couple of, of these. And there was one that like, the stripes here was like larger, uh, so it was like I wasn't able to identify exactly what year um, I will ask please if anyone sees this video and knows which one this is let me know because I like to identify these guys because I'm not you know a super collector I've only been doing this recently I like getting this stuff to play with and to learn so this guy's really cool that was one uh, let's see because I have my list here ah here we go so this one I knew was from Assassin's Creed. I did not know that they had a line of Assassin's uh, Creed uh, figures. So that's cool. I love the fact that he has his little blade. Uh, I like like the hood. Like look at that. It's like you do see him under there like peekaboo, but it looks cool. It's a it's a nice looking figure. So this is a 2010 NECA Assassin's Creed 2 actually. Um, I like the cape. I like the design. I mean look at that. Like. The way they did the, the design here and all that looks really sweet. It's just a, it's a really nice figure. Good articulation, looks looks really cool. So definitely awesome. I mean, I, I would have paid three bucks just for this figure. I don't care if it's out of box, it doesn't have what other accessories. Definitely the next one here, I would have got just cause it's so freaking cool. And it's another one that I could add to my women of action figure line that I'm collecting. If anyone doesn't know, I like to collect like good female characters that were acted well, well written, stuff like that. And I loved Hit Girl, so I didn't even know that this was a line. Um, I don't know what year this was, but it was Kick-Ass 2, so whatever year that was. But I like it, cause with the gun, even though like <laughs> the weapon's kind of bent, uh, I like the cape, the colors of course. You know the mask. It just it just is is really cool. If someone knows exactly like what year and stuff, uh, let me know in the comments. Cause I'm always you know one of the reasons I do these videos is I'd like to talk to the community who maybe collected this. Maybe you have this in box or something like that. That's really cool. Um, so the next one I had. Let's see where is she? Ah, here it is. So. If you watch one of my other videos uh, on Thursdays where I got the awesome garage sales, there was uh, one where I got a Farscape character where at first when I went there, there was a Farscape guy. I forgot what his name was and uh, someone already claimed it, but the lady actually called me up later and gave me one in box. Let me just grab that real quick because right here, uh, bear with me. 
as I scooch back over. So this was the one that I ended up getting. Oh, it's like, there we go. So I ended up getting this one in box. I'm eventually gonna open it, but I'm gonna do um, a video uh, unboxing of that one so it's there. Uh, but this one, I was in the box and I, I didn't recognize that first, but this is a 2000 Far Escape uh, Iron Sun Pilot uh, Mutation Claudia Black. And I just thought that's interesting because it's like you see her like showing the mutation and that's like, that's like creepy looking. Uh, but I didn't know this figure existed, but I'm happy to have it in my collection and it's just, it's just sweet looking. Um, like I said, there's no, there were no accessories in this box. So everything is just figures alone. Um, but very cool, very cool. Happy to have that. Um, so also I love X-Files. So I already did an unboxing of another Agent Scully. Let me just grab that real quick. That's another reason why I like having the characters. So I can show these off. So this new one that I got in that box is the uh, 1998 McFarland Toys X-Files Fight the Future Agent Scully. This is the other variant. I'm not sure which one is variant one, variant two, but this is the one that I did the unboxing for. And this is so, I, this is the one when they go out uh, into the Arctic to, uh, I think to, to find the base where they were doing the experiments on the people and stuff. Uh, I think to find a cure or something like that. And then this is the regular agent one that I did an uh, unboxing video for. So that's really cool that I was able to just get one random in a box like that. I really like that because usually I'm on the lookout, especially at places like Value Village that has those toy bags. And I always want to find something like that in one of those. So that was really sweet. Um, so another one for the Women of Action figure this one and this is the cool 2011 uh batman arkham city harley quinn and i this one actually did come like i think this is the only accessory that came in the pack and it's her bat so that's cool that's cool i don't have any other harley quinns i like that chain okay it's it's like in the belt i love that so that's that's really cool cool looking figure so something that going to the add to the women of action figure line uh, next up is this one I don't, actually don't have that many spider-mans so this was just interesting because I never seen this before this is the 2013 web ball slingshot spider-man so there's another like web ball that I guess he's supposed to throw with these that is not in here so like I said this is missing stuff but you know I always like the, the variant I think they kind of started to overdo it with spider-man suits um, I liked back in the day when it was like, oh, original, then got the black symbiote suit, and then Iron Spider, that was cool when it came out, but now there's like so many in a toy line, but hey, you know, it's still cool, whatever, I ain't hating, it's, it's cool, this is awesome, um, cool to have another Spider-Man in collection, uh, let's see, and then next up was this Black Panther, this is a 2007 Vibranium um, Black Panther, so, this is also, I think, the first Black Panther toy that I have. So, kind of basic, but I still like the accents. I like that, like, silver-looking animantium or vibranium, I guess, um, accents. That's pretty cool. Um, now, here's what's, this what's, what's interesting about this toy. I didn't real I knew it was Masters of the Universe as soon as I saw it. I didn't realize that this is uh, a McDonald's toy. This is a 2003... He-Man, Beast-Man, McDonald's toy. And I have to say, it's interesting. Look at that. This is what you do when you press the button in the back. It's like, pound the ground. Rah! Or that could look really weird. Um, this feels like a regular figure. I and, and this is like one of the many reasons I like getting things out of boxes. Because sometimes you realize like, okay, some of those older McDonald's toys felt just like regular action figures of the time. And this is like a good example of that. I mean, th this is pretty good. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels pretty, pretty darn good. So, I mean, that's cool. I don't have many He-Man. So that's kind of like, I think like the second He-Man that I got. Um, I Speaking of, I got a lot of these. <laughs> 2013 
uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. I don't know what it is with these. Like every time I go to the thrift store, these are in those uh, action figure bags. I got so many of these. I'm gonna put up on my Instagram all the ones that I have. I think this is like my fifth one. It's just, it's crazy. Make sure you look at my Instagram, percent off collector on Instagram. Um, first time that I have any Airbender collectibles. Uh, this one is 2007 uh, Avatar The Last Airbender Prince Zuko. Uh, this is interesting. I like this like it's, it's interesting it's like a lighter kind of like rubbery feel to it uh, this thing here you can move around I wasn't I think it's torn though like yeah it looks like it's torn there got the hair cool looking figure and I never actually watched the show so I'm sorry to any fans of the show I'm, it's not because I hate it or anything I just never got around to it it's, got, it's gonna be one of those things that I do it's like watching those other transformer um, like the Unicron Trilogy. I have to get around to watching that. I never did. Um, so this is the second one of these I have, which is interesting. Um, this is a Loot Crate Ghostbusters slimed Peter Venkman. I'm not sure what year it is. I don't think that this says what year. But I, I had one of these in uh, one of those um, thrift store um, action figure bags. So now I have a duplicate. But I think it's really cool. I like the Proton Pack. I think it looks really sweet. Sweet little toy. Um, this one, I have, I got another one of these. Uh, I got, um, oh no, that one's a bendable figure. This one isn't the, the like stretchy bendable. I just think that, look at that neck though. Like this thing's been worn. Like it's like, it's wobbly and stuff. Maybe he's just hot. He had too many Scoopy snacks. Um, this is the 1999 uh, Equity which is weird. I don't know. I guess that's the company. Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo Shaggy. So, that's interesting. Like, does it say on the back? Two thousand. Uh, is that right? 2001? Is that what I wrote down? Oh no, I put 1999, but this is 2001. Yeah, see? Equity marketing. So, interesting. I don't know. Um, so, next up... From that is oh so I don't have a lot of sports people um, I don't know football soccer depending on how you call it uh, but this is a 1989 Kenner uh, Forza champion Rudd Gullit, Gullit Milan I I'm terrible with names so I'm sorry I know I butchered it I know I butchered it but here you see pretty classic cool I do remember like these kind of action figures what was it the uh, starter um, or starting lineup, I forgot what that was called, but I never really collected those. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then so here another example of McDonald's toys. I actually found out that these are actually worth like 15 bucks a piece or something, even without the box. But these are both um, McDonald's toys. Um, these are 2008 Wizard of Oz, Madam Alexander. Cowardly Lion and uh, Scarecrow. So I don't know Madame Alexander. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a special designer creator that made these. But I think they're really cool for McDonald's toys. Um, so I guess like specialty. That's, that's the deal with it. But these are like I guess considered special editions. So that's cool. Um, we're almost done here. Um, oh so this one. I always love, it's hard to find a G.I. Joe in the wild, and this one was great, 1988 G.I. Joe Blizzard, so that's sweet, and you know, it's really cool, like, looks like the O-ring and all that, the crotch is okay, the arms still move well, it's not like super loose, it's not like really yellow or anything, so I gotta say, it's a pretty good figure to just get a G.I. Joe in the wild like that, so I was really happy. Um, and then this one is just old school. Uh, this is the 1979 Fisher Price Adventure People Blue Octopus uh, Scuba Diver. I think this is the oldest action figure now that I have. 1979. That's that's freaking cool uh, to have a to a figure that's that old. I think you can see it in here too. Yeah, see, 1979 Fisher Price toys. So that that's cool. That's my oldest figure. 
Uh, then we have this little, this one is also, uh, this is new, 2010 Strawberry Shortcake McDonald's toy. Very simple, but very cool. Um, then we have another Happy Meal toy. Uh, this is 2002 Treasure Planet Jim Hawkins. Never saw that either, but okay, cool. And then last up, I have a couple of Supermans, but I love when I get older ones. This is a 1984 Kenner DC Superpower Superman. Uh, so, you know, these are like those old classic ones. And see, you can see that, DC 1984. Uh, so that's really sweet. I, I have to say, I love when I get these older figures. I don't care if they're worn and torn. I like to get them because I like to compare them with other things. So, putting all these back in the forefront. <laughs> that's not bad for three bucks. That's not bad for five bucks. Um, I was really happy with this haul. So thank you for taking time to uh, watch this video and geek out with me as I enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you thought about that for, for a haul because I know a lot of you guys are out there. You know, a lot of you people love getting loose action figures. Not everyone likes everything new in box. So that's pretty cool. Uh, tell me about anything that I missed or if I got a date or, or a description wrong. Which one did you like the best? What do you think overall? I'm going to have more videos because I'm hitting up garage sales usually every week. I go like usually Saturday and Sunday unless they have something super good on Friday and Sunday they usually do 50% off. So if you like these type of videos, give me a like, sub, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And please leave comments because I want to I want to talk to you, to the community. I really I really like reaching out and learning things cuz I'm still new at this. But uh, until next time, remember my motto. No discount. No deal. Catch you next time.